This video tutorial is about the practical investigation that can be done to look at the factors affecting photosynthesis. There are many ways to measure the rate of photosynthesis, including the rate of uptake of raw materials, such as carbon dioxide, or the rate of production of the byproduct oxygen. In each case, to measure the rate, we need to calculate the quantity taken up or produced per unit of time. In school laboratories, the rate of photosynthesis is often found by measuring the volume of oxygen produced per minute by an aquatic plant. However, there are limitations with this method because some of the oxygen produced by the plant will be used for its respiration and there may be some dissolved nitrogen in the gas collected. However, the same apparatus can be adapted and used to measure the effects of light intensity, temperature or carbon dioxide availability on the rate of photosynthesis. The slide in front of you shows a photosynthometer, also known as an Ordus microburette. It is set up so that it is airtight and there are no air bubbles in the capillary tube. Gas given off by the plant over a known period of time collects in the flared end of the capillary tube. As the experimenter manipulates the syringe, the gas bubble can be moved into the part of the capillary tube against the scale and its length measured. If the radius of the capillary tube bore is known, then this length can be converted to volume. So the volume of gas collected will equal the length of bubble times pi r squared. If the same apparatus is used throughout the investigation, the radius of the tube bore is constant. So comparison can be made using just the bubble length. 